Hey everybody, it's Rebecca again from Becca's Booth. Um, we, you remember my other tutorial where we actually um, stenciled our little cow here on our tea cloth. Um, I was telling you guys that I hadn't actually heat set it yet. It has been drying for over a week. I've been really busy so I couldn't get to this. But here is the video on this. Um, I do a couple ways. This is the way I wanted to show everybody because just because I have a Cricut does not mean that everybody else has a Cricut press. <clears throat> um, so I'm just using my basic iron. I don't know if you can see that or not. Bought it at Walmart. It's a Black & Decker. Not a big deal. Not using anything special. What I did do, though, is I covered my, um, ironing board here with, uh, craft paper. I, I get it in the big roll, so I just roll it out. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is because it will bleed out the back. And I really don't want my ironing board um, colored with a cow. So <laughs> so to heat set this is a little bit bigger than the one little paper towel. See? So I got two. Um, I am going to cover it um, for everybody says to do this for two to three minutes now do I think that you really need to do it for two to three minutes and I'm going to say no but I am going to set my little timer alarm for two minutes on my phone so you'll hear it go off um, and we are going to do this one I am then I'll shut it off and I will do this one I am going to wash this and then finish the video because I want you to see what it looks like after it's gone through the washing machine also. Um, I do not want to leave you hanging and hit if it doesn't work, you know. So let's get to this real quick. I'm going to start my timer at two minutes. I have my setting on, um, on a three, no steam. Um, you do not want to wet your paint again. But you just want to get a good heat on in every spot of it. Don't don't miss any because you don't want any of it lighter on one end and not the other. Um, there's not a lot that uh, can be explained here except just keep in constant movement, keep in constant heat on your on your um, design here. Um, the reason why I'm doing it on my paper towel is the paint will or could reactivate and actually get on the bottom of my ironing iron itself. And I do not want that. So that's why the paper towel. Um, but this should set it permanently. Do not get me wrong. We used the, the fabric medium that I had bought off Amazon. I'll put that link down on the bottom of this video so you'll know what we used. And then the acrylic paint that I used, I got from Walmart. But of course you can get that from Amazon too. I just don't like waiting for things like paint to get to me <laughs> or paint or paying for the shipping to get it to me so we've already done an, a minute and 15 seconds so let's keep going here uh, okay uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah you can feel the heat off of it already um, just what the iron is supposed to do it's doing its job I'm doing my job by running it back and forth over the design getting it together and the alarm is getting ready to go off there it is all right so I'm going to take this off so you can see it didn't stick. It didn't run either onto the paper towel. So that's a good thing. It is very warm. Let's see what it did if it roared onto the... It did not. Um, this discoloration on him was already on the back side of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was already on the back side of this. I checked it before I actually laid it down. So you can see on the other one, there's more bleed through on the second one. But this is the one that I had messed up in the video and I had too much water in my paintbrush. So it definitely bled through. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and iron this and then I'm going to hit it into the wash machine. I'll be right back so you can have a look at it. All right, bye bye. 
Okay, everybody, it's me again. So, as you know, I'm working on heat setting the um, acrylic paint into a tea towel. Um, I used the Apple Barrel Paint. Um, this one was Admiral Blue. It turns out really dark, but I really I don't know. There, there you go. Um, and I mixed it with this fabric medium that I got off Amazon. I'll have the link on that in the bottom. Um, this towel that I'm getting ready to show you, um, we washed, I washed it first before I actually started the stencil. Did the stencil and you can see that in another video. Screwed it up. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, everybody learns how to do things, um, by, from mistakes. At least I do. But... Um, I went ahead, I wanted it, and today I heat set it with my iron. Um, I don't think, or you can definitely, I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, you can definitely tell there were spots that I missed in my iron. I washed it. I washed it with whites to make sure that the paint didn't get on my other clothes. And they did not. So that's a good thing. It also didn't get or smear on the towel itself. So let me show it to you. Let's see here. Get this turned around. Sorry about that. So here is the finished product. He is still so very cute. But where I was talking about I didn't hit it with the iron hard enough. It's up here on this corner of the F. Um, it just looks like it faded. It could have been that way before. But this area here on the nose is definitely a lot lighter. I like that because it doesn't look so stamped and it gives a little definition it didn't smear it didn't smear on the on the actual um, towel itself and it didn't get over my other clothes so happy <laughs> so again thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments in the bottom i will definitely have links for the products um, that i used during this in the bottom also so you'll know where to get yours and um, please like and share and ring the little bell um, so you get notifications on the other videos that i'm getting ready to do i've got a couple more that's already in editing stage and I will have that put up sometime soon. All right. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.